Greetings everyone, I am Dr. Wolf and I'm a little confused about YouTube's new policies regarding any videos they deem to be aimed at children. Now, given that I've been making videos about My Little Pony for, oh goodness, it's been six and a half years now? Wow, time flies. And yeah, My Little Pony is a show that was initially targeted towards children. It was kind of a surprise to everyone, including the fans, that it would appeal to a lot of adults as well. And I've always made My Little Pony videos with this in mind, that my content is more for teenagers and 20-something college kids. That age bracket definitely makes up the majority of my audience. But given that I have My Little Pony images as thumbnails for most of my videos, and I'm using My Little Pony clips and images and analyzing the characters and the themes, yeah, I can understand why some people would think that, oh, this must be a video directed towards children. Now, when I first heard that YouTube was going to be changing its policies because something to do with the FTC and basically YouTube is not supposed to be collecting any kind of advertiser data on any child age 12 and under. And so every time I upload a video now, I am given this little message, you have to mark whether or not it's going to be made for kids. And I don't think it is because the majority of my content is directed towards older demographics. But I'm sure there are kids out there who see a My Little Pony thumbnail in one of my videos and click to see what it's about. Even though it is a small portion of my audience, I guarantee there are kids out there who watch what I do. So I've never been able to determine, should I be clicking this is meant for kids? Because that's certainly not the majority, but am I going to get some kind of strike on my channel if I'm not reporting my videos as being made for kids because it's centered on My Little Pony, which initially was directed towards kids. I actually had one of my videos marked by someone at YouTube as made for kids. It was my top 10 episodes of MLP Season 9. And in that video, I'm not using my face on camera like I usually do. I'm actually using my avatar which is something that was rather frequent in my older videos. So, even though I have a low voice, someone at YouTube looked at that and said, oh, this is definitely made for kids. And I don't know if that's going to be changing who can search for it or who can comment on it or what have you. Every time YouTube changes its policies, they release pages upon pages of what they're trying to do and it's still confusing. But if you look at something like the new My Little Pony series will be chibi style, that's certainly gaining a lot of traction and the thumbnail has images of the characters and my avatar, but the video itself is me on camera. And that hasn't been marked as for kids, at least not yet. So I'm still trying to figure out, am I supposed to be changing what I do and how I present and which videos I'm supposed to be marking as for kids. I have no idea. And I'm sure I'm not alone in that confusion. I've tried listening to a few videos that explain what YouTube is doing and whether or not they're allowed to do so, and I really have no control over who is able to find my content and how. Like so many other people throughout YouTube, I'm just confused. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. For now, I'm just going to continue to create content like I've been doing for the past six and a half years, and hope that I don't trip up on some obscure YouTube rule that I'm just not aware of yet. Wouldn't be the first time that YouTube has put a strike on my channel without any kind of explanation, or there was even this one time where my entire channel was taken down with no warning and still no explanation after the fact. It was only for a couple of days, but man, that was a really hard couple of days. Thinking that all of my content had been taken away forever and I wouldn't be able to create a channel again. So it's a little worrisome that I'm trying to follow what YouTube is telling me to do and yet not always understanding what exactly they're trying to get their content creators to do. For now though, I'm only hoping for the best. If I come across any more examples of videos on my channel that 
are marked by someone else as directed towards kids. Maybe I'll be able to learn whether there's a pattern or not, but until then, I'm just gonna keep being confused. I don't know if any of you out there are running into similar issues with your content that you're uploading to YouTube, but it would be interesting to know what we're supposed to be doing and how we're supposed to be doing it. Until next time, though, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.